Hey guys, welcome to... Oh. Welcome to To The Moon <laughs> with Tutu. We go, we're going to play To The Moon. So I am recovering from COVID, unfortunately. I don't sound quite right. I know I don't sound right. It's like, I don't know, after the fever went away and the sore throat, which was really bad, it just went straight to the sinuses and like my ears and all that. So like, I don't sound super great. Dude, this music is bumping in this game. And then slowly that cough has kind of turned up if I talk too much. So hopefully, because this is a game where we're gonna be reading a lot of what's going on, hopefully it doesn't turn up and become an issue. I tried to wait until I wasn't gonna be like having coughing fits the entire playthrough, but we, we will we'll see how it goes. But yeah, let's just get into it, guys. The art style kind of reminds me of um, Stardew Valley a little bit. I'd like to play Stardew as well. There's a cute little garden. So this is like a little cliff house. I wonder if I made it too quiet now. Guys, that's something that has been a problem for me with, uh, with COVID is I can't hear properly anymore. Oh, can I move? Oh. I'm messing with the volume just a little bit, sorry. Damn! Dr. Rosaline. Or probably Rosalind. Where were you looking, Neil? Dr. Watts. Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. Did you- it looks like it's dead. <laughs> Dr. Rosalind, you ran over it anyways! Oh no, it's dead! Dr. Watts, oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm, well, just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? Oh, shit, wrong voice. Ooh. <laughs> he likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Dogs are better. <laughs> no, I think cats are cute too. Fine, whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, we're fast as sh we're fast as shit. Wiles household ahead. Putting up a sign when they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. Can I go look at this squirrel? Received equipment. Got the sucker, let's roll. No. Nope. Right click to toggle menu and, oh, toggle menu. Characters, Senior Memory Traversal Agent, Sigmund Corp, Technician Specialist. Oh, Patient Offline, gotcha. Okay, can I, I really want to see the squirrel. Tisk tisk. Oh, come on, I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? That's asking too much. Wow, we killed it. Oh no, I feel the cost. Oh no, we just started. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. Okay, how thoughtful of you. Oh, birdie. Oh, oops, wrong button, sorry. There's literally two buttons I pressed. Oh, are these stairs? Oh, they're stairs. Can I hold it down? No. Oh, there's a rock. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. <laughs> Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with? Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. 
Push it by hand, find a branch, abort mission, and go home. You're not gonna be able to push that by hand. Find a branch. A branch will do. Right there. It's by hand you're gonna hurt yourself. Alright, this better work. Oh! It just exploded. What was that? I... I don't even... It's some kind of an air ball. Excuse me, what? Uh, right, we need to get going for now. Right. Step up, what? Huh? It wasn't even a real boulder. Oh god. Oh look, the squirrels are upset. Because you killed their friend. Pond. The pond is pretty. Can I go to it? No. Let's just go into the house, I guess. Sorry, I'm struggling with the point and click. Let me make sure it's loud enough. Ma, they're here! Doctor, I keep reading who it is when we already know who it is. Uh, not a bad place to retire at, huh? Oh, I think I made it too loud, y'all. I could do better. Night shifts, love him or hate him. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably gonna be another all-nighter, you know. Oh, Luca. I know. What? Go on. Go on. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... What is up with this doctor? Don't forget the equipment, moron. He literally just put it down, didn't he? I don't get a paid... I don't get paid enough for this. I don't get to paid enough for this. I don't... Why did he have to back up into the house? That's weird behavior. Act 1, I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. I always thought they were lighthouses. Um, Lily. Dr. Watson, Dr. Roslyn, I presume. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Excuse me. That's incredibly rude. Um, <laughs> are you the patient's daughter? Oh, no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. I think I got a little too loud again. It's not exactly a nine to five job, so Johnny let us, or lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just refer or prefers to be called that. We're kind of rude doctors, aren't we? He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. <laughs> oh my goodness. Received equipment. All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Dun, dun, dun. Upstairs, yes. Okay, they're gone. It's the kids. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Oh, <laughs> No fair, you pushed me. 
did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. <laughs> That's cute. So I can go... Oh, it looks like it's red. Like, I can't go that way. It's cute that they're the ones playing the song. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, oh, sh oh, time. I don't think we need to know that. You guys might be able to hear fireworks outside, I'm sorry. Oh, there's a door there. I was like, how the hell do we get through this black space and time? This is like, okay. Ready to set up. Set machine down. Look around first. Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. Like, we can go to other areas? Oh, can we talk to this doctor, too? He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. What's this? Where does this go? Oh, the bathroom. Hmm. Well, don't think we need to be here. All right, let's go ahead and set up. You know what it's kind of reminding me of? Like, I'm already getting the vibes of, um, eternal sunshine of the spotless mind type stuff. Like, are we going to be time traveling through his mind? Uh, yes, it'll just be a moment. Because I saw the what kind of doctors they are. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap, <laughs> we made the power go out, didn't we? Standard procedures, just keep you on your toes. God, how's he doing? Not so well, if I were to say. He's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. Oh, a wish. But we always succeed because we're awesome. Oh, okay. So what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? Wow, that's so insensitive. So can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an old man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy, for Pete's sake. Shush, do, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Mmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Oh, there's my food. Uh, who goes to search the house? I want to be Dr. Roslyn. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. Right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Okay. Yeah, Dr. Watts seems like a little, a little butthead, so uh, give me a moment. I need to go get food.
Oh, shoot. I keep pressing the wrong button. No, no, no. Can I go through here? What's through here? A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. Huh? Painting of an animal of some sort. It looks like a dog. What do you mean? Casual painting of three people. Okay. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Yeah? Dude, there, there are gnats in this room, I swear to God. These tiny little gnats in my plants again. Every year. Here, take this. You received remote patient monitor. Oh, okay. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Aww. Okay. Oh, this is really sad already. He's dying. He's dying and we're so insensitive about it. I'm gonna go talk to them. How do I uh, get up there and talk? Okay. What you want? Show around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe? I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. Wow. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? I love how Sarah is like more on like speed with something rational like a candy cane. There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well, sure, I'll go get it for you. No, cut the crap and help. I mean, let's not make enemies. My mother used to keep candies on the high shelves too. All right, I'll go get it. The kitchen, the kitchen's door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Okay, now you being brats. Kitchen's right next to the stairs. There are stairs absolutely everywhere. I'm guessing it's here. Okay, that's the bathroom. So we're gonna turn that light on and we're gonna leave. <laughs> we're just gonna rack up their electric bill. What's this one? The kitchen's at the other door. This door? There's that candy cane. Oh, Lucas chewing on his toy, guys, by the way. I'm gonna have to get a stool. Yes, but turn this on. Oh, what warm lighting. Very nice. Now we can climb up there and get it. She's short like me. Received candy cane. Terrible calories? I don't think these kids care about that. No, 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 no. Okay, now she's just working out. Now she's just exercising. Hello? Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. Hey, finally they stopped. Okay, where do we start? We don't have much time. This man is dying. I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? Is there a sex dungeon in the basement? You'll see. It's weird. Okay, now I'm very concerned. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Where the hell's the study? Is it here? Oh, yep, it is. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is 
in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Of course it is. Thickest book on the upper shelf. Uh, Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume 1, The Key to Avoiding Paper Cuts. Uh, no. No. Dusk Light, The Tale of a Girl Who Fell in Love with a Zombie. Oh my god. Do nothing. Do nothing. These aren't them. Or is it on the table? There's a book on the table. Oh, I don't think I can... Or is this a bookshelf? What's that book? What? Can I use this stool? stepped on the paint. Why is it on the floor? Oh, is it here? On the highest shelf. Thickest book on the highest shelf. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. He... What is it? Just a bunch of books in here. They, they have nothing I don't know about, though. Kid, can you help me? This man's gonna die of old age before I find this book. Thickest book on the shelf. the key I don't even know how guys I just started clicking everything he chose its hiding spot well yeah I noticed that my goodness okay let's go to the sex dungeon please maybe the kids shouldn't come you should stay upstairs we can open the funny room in the basement now no you should stay upstairs I don't know what this oh my goodness this is a basement we play hide and seek here turn on the light before you trip over something Okay. Oh, that's the bit. What's this? The chest is locked? Ooh. I'm snooping. Door is locked. Yeah, open. Open door with a room key. <coughs> oh, oof, I feel it. It's like a cave in here. Uh. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, is that the dog thing? I thought that was a dog. A stuffed toy platypus. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Take it. Receive toy platypus. A rabbit folded out of paper. These are all origami rabbits. Broken music box. The hell is this room? Dude, I don't know if I learned anything. Can I open this? I'm getting out of here. You guys did not warn me about what was in that room. Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. I'm sorry, you can probably hear Luca chew on that toy and he loud, man. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside so we never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? Hee <laughs> hee. Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. 
So you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Go see the lighthouse. Stay and wait for me. No, we're gonna go see the lighthouse. You know what? Fine. Maybe it'll tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go check that old lighthouse out. Alright. Kids, don't do anything bad. Why did it get scary? Are we leaving out this door? I'm not even sure. Where is said lighthouse? Said said light. Hello. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, it's all the way down the cliff. We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get down to it. Oh my god, all of a sudden Sarah just aged. I'm sorry, my voice. Yeah, I forgot my parachute! Uh, down to the street. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. What was that air ball thing, though? That was weird. Children, we should not be doing this. This is dangerous. Oh no! My novelty beach ball! Someone broke it! Uh... It was stupid anyway. But, but it's the bestest novelty beach ball I've ever had! Oh, who could have been so cruel? <laughs> uh, look, I'll buy you another one. No, don't do it! You will! Sure, but we kind of need to get going now. Oh my god, the sad music was cute. Novelty rock beach ball. That's what that was. Oh, the squirrels. It's smoking! Yeah, don't pay attention to that. That was not my, my fault. Who's the dummy that crashed a car? Not me. It's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We roleplay in it. Away. What? Tommy's a super powerful knight and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Oh, that's a. Uh, that's nice. <laughs> Do you roleplay too? I, uh, no. She's not cool enough to do it. Hey, I could if I wanted to. Just you children watch. <laughs> oh my goodness. We don't have time. Oh, squirrel is sleeping? Oh, a squirrel! <laughs> squirrel! Oh, no, it's a terrible squirrel gone. What? Excuse me? Don't worry, children. I'll protect you. Are we role-playing? Squirrel. Attack, defend. Alright, attack. Wait, is Tommy asleep? Volcanic jump kick. Yeah, let's do that one. Loudest. Your uh, time is at an end, Squirrel Gone. Hiya! Stop it, or we tell Ma you animal abuse. Oh, what? Yeah, she'll call the cops on you. What? I was just... I wasn't gonna... Didn't you say you like role-playing? <laughs> uh, you should have be ashamed of yourself. Of you self. What? Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just forget this happened. Oh my god. Well, that was a fail. They did not appreciate role-playing. That's for sure. Like, not even a little bit. Yeah, look at that. It looks like the intro. We probably shouldn't be taking these kids out here in the middle of the night, but you know, we doing it anyways. They'll learn a valuable life lesson after being scared shitless. Uh, hold on, what is that over there? Oh, what is that? In memory of River E. Wiles. Oh, is that his wife? River Wiles? Was she John's wife? Dunno. 
Come on, the lighthouse is right there. Aww. We're going up all these stairs? Oh my god. Oh. Yep, there's all the bunnies. This is it! Multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. This is the only one with two colors, huh? Oh, you know, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Kind of an odd hobby, though. Maybe his wife liked origami. Oh, that's my phone. It's Watts. Is everything ready? All right, I'll be right there. Why do you have a creepy ringtone? Because it scares the monsters away. Come on, let's head back. Oh, we took it. Oh, I bet he made those for his wife. Oh my god, what did you put on his face? Oh, why don't you be late by another half an hour? Not like we get or got a dying client or anything. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. Get off your high horse. I'm late just this one time and you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are, because I'm competent. Oh my god. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop chop. On the couch? This couch? Initiate. Alright, here we go. We logging into the brain. Oh. Man, Luca's really going crazy on that toy. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's what H. This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done, let's get in. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, those are all blank? Interesting. Where's he at? outside how do we know where he's at oh is he over here Johnny What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. I'm trying to do different voices. My name is Dr. Eva Roslin, and this is Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. Oh, That would be really traumatizing that this is just a memory for him. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there, if you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. Oh wait, wrong voice. Watch it, Neil, show some respect. Eh, it's just a program, you know? I know, but this is his last accessible memory. We need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? 
you you are here to take me to the moon aren't you yes John I suppose I had a good run not good enough it seems damn why is he so mean to this guy so can you do it sorry um can you take me to the moon we can't but you might be able to why do you want to go there I don't know. It's fine. You can tell us. It's essential for helping us get you to go there. Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. This guy. I'm sorry, but I, I really don't know. I just do. I can already tell that this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we will do. We need to get your child to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps, which you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. Oh. Or to get on a giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? Oh, that'll do. It's the origami rabbit. Well, shall we? Ladies first. Receive note, moon. We'll need to repair this memento first. Repair. Uh, complete the memento, click the orbs to flip pieces. Oh, clip. What? Ew. Strange. Oh man, you're gonna make me actually think about a puzzle. Oh my god. Let's do that for way too long. The memento can now be activated for traversal. Activate. Don't ever make me do a puzzle like that again, John, please. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. Hmm. Interesting. Turn off visibility and interactivity, it'd be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah, happy. Jeez, what's with all these rabbits? This is creeping me out. We probably should have checked his record for psych psychopathy. Psychopathy first? Psychopathy? Sorry, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. 
It's probably just a part of his memory, or this memory. Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. Uh, interact with objects to establish five memory links. There's that. Multicolored rabbit. Well, aren't you special having two colors when all your siblings look like they drown in bleach? What's that? You think you're really creepy? Why, yes, I agree. Uh, what's over in this clump? A clump of rabbits there? No. That is definitely something. No? Okay, well then, uh... Umbrella. Requires memory links to shoot. Oh, what in the world? Clock is moving but soundless. Clock. I don't know why we're shooting an umbrella, but you know... That's a bottle of pickled olives. <laughs> I hate this stuff. What's to hate? It's pickled olive. Exactly. Oh, pickle sounds so good. An old and patched up backpack. What is this? A million years old? I guess we'll find out. Well, can we take it with us? No? What's he doing in here? There's flowers in here. Fresh wildflowers. Don't. If we have to explain our presence to him in every memory, I'd go crazy. Don't tempt me. <laughs> so I can't pick that up. Weird. Anything else here? This net has got to go. Memory links established. You can now travel with the memento umbrella. Okay. Now we can go downstairs and do this. Haruken! What the fuck was that? What? That's it. I'm doing the breaking from now on. Prepare. Oh no, please don't make me do another puzzle. Oh, I hate this so much. Reminder, the corner orb can flip the entire diagonal. This is the worst. Oh. Oh. I don't want to do freaking puzzle. I just want I want a story. I want a story. Oh man, it's going in and out of color too. It just oh. Can this do it? There we go. I said don't make me do it again. All right. Activate. Oh, we probably should have grabbed that, right? Well, it didn't let me grab it. Oh. He's at her grave site. When it comes to rain, through is better than onto. I don't mind it regardless. Seems like these memory hops only span a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento, or it's going to take forever. Meh, just enjoy the scenery. What's going on over here? An old stuffed toy platypus. Honestly, I just don't think this animal has the right to exist. What is wrong with this guy? That's the world's not big enough for two of you? Oh, the world's not big enough for two of you? What's he doing? He, he's grieving. Oh. Is there anything down here? 
Uh, let's go in here. It's finished, River. Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. Look. I might never understand why, but I stay true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you too. But when I'm gone, who is going to watch over us? My name is Eva. I was just passing by. Was she your wife? Yes. Her name was River. That's a special name. It didn't need to happen. Hmm. She... She didn't need to do it. But she... You wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. Did she... Did she kill herself? Oh, oh. No... Let me play this really sad music. Received note, Anya. Oh, I didn't even realize. Clocks in Johnny's house never tick. Moon objective, the moon in Johnny's memory is full. Anya, someone John and River cared for. This game would have made me cry really fucking bad. I like can feel it already. <laughs> like, this is gonna make me cry really bad, isn't it? About time you you got here. I almost thought you fell off the cliff. What were you doing? Enjoying the scenery. What else? Any luck here? Big luck. Huge dinosauric. Huh? This place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse. What do you expect? There's a freaking gnat. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking the barrier for yourself. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, that is the barrier. Okay, well... We need way more stuff. Oh, we got that. Oh. Broken lighthouse lamp. Oh, he would just come up here and sit. Prepare. No, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Ideal shows a minimum number of moves a memento can be completed in. Yeah, trust me. That shit is never gonna happen. Three. My, like, honestly, since having COVID, my brain, like, does not work. Okay, well, you know what? I ate my words there. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think we need to talk about it. It's fine. Oh, his wife. <laughs> uh, just enough. After we pay for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it. So don't you worry. This gnat is driving me crazy. So this is River. Uh, white lie. That's what you call it, right? No, I'm sure we can just... Stop it. I 
I don't like it when you lie. I calculated our finances. I know how it's like. Why do you try to convince me against my will? We need the money for your medical bills, River. I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this... This is just too much. I mean, she... She isn't even... Do you know what makes me happy, Johnny? What? Do you? Well, I do. I just hope you can help me with it. River. When the papers for my treatments get here, I will not sign them. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. This gnat is... Oh my god, it's making me itchy. What do you do with our money is up to you. But if you would grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live here, I want you to watch over her. Aww. Visit her, speak to her, comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And what about you? Happy. I'll be happy. Johnny? Yes? I made this. Oh, she made that. <laughs> tell me what it is. What? Just tell me what it is. It's a rabbit, like all the others you made. What else? Um, it's made of paper. What else? Its body is yellow and the rest is blue. Good. What else? Look, River. I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. Well, would you like to hear it? Yes. You didn't have to bring the piano in here for this. I can hear you just fine with the door open. It's called For River. Why so cliche? It's... It's just a placeholder. Aw, oh, that's what he was playing. That's what he was playing when he also slammed the piano in frustration. Who is this Anya they were talking about? If she's so important, shouldn't we have seen her in his late memories? I guess he didn't keep that promise after all. Unless... Unless what? Never mind. Hey, that's the same song the kids were playing earlier, huh? I guess he taught them. You know what? I'm too manly for this. I'm heading on. I already got my memory links. You want to hitch a quick ride or a look around yourself? Um, I kind of want to stay and explore. Go on ahead, I'll catch up with you. Don't you miss the days when memory audio to MP8 conversion was legal? I think I brought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on this job. Dude, Dr. Watts sucks. What's that? New clothes? Okay. I love piano, guys. For River. Song Johnny wrote for his deceased wife. His title was a placeholder. <laughs> Let's 
going on down here? Pot of mixed dough. Glass of pickled olives. Someone really likes these. Nicholas? I'm telling you, there's just no way. What if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We aren't exactly at the ripe age of piano moving. You know what? If this means that much to you, I'll pay for the professionals to do this. I can't help saving that house for you, so this is the least I can do. Oh. You really wanted that to be... Oh. To be up there so he could play this for his wife. Alright. Put all these in there. Here we go, do this thing again. Oh, I hate this thing. I hate this so much. Accident. I I'm not kidding you. I'm not doing. <laughs> I'm not good at it by any means. Oh, there are flowers you picked up there. Oh, he's getting younger. Well, I guess. Yeah, I guess they were on the ridge. Wait, he didn't even have. Finally! There's no bench here or anything. Look what we have here. Oh shit, the whole house wasn't even built yet. Dang. So where did they live then? I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. There he is. Isabel. Nick called and I said I sh or Nick called and said I should come. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? She looks very green. I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in its late stages. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... You don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crashed. What are you going to do now? I'm... I'm gonna tell her that we can make it... Or that we can make it. I'm gonna tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure what she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. I wonder if that's his sister or something. Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? 
After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm not gonna let her die. That's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. Sorry guys, there's crumbs. This is sad. It'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. Oh, it's the music box in the basement that's broken. He said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. That is really sad. Can you imagine being left with a choice like that? Where like, the love of your life is dying and you kind of have to choose, well, you don't have to choose, but like, it would be up to them whether they want to live or die and you'd have to bear with whatever their decision is. That'd be really, really sad. And really incredibly hard. Oh, that's the memento. Ooh, a truck. M the music and like the little tunes in the game are really beautiful. That music box is super cute. Where'd he go? He went up here? Can we not go there? I don't think so. I mean, I feel like the house should be one, but... see anything. Oh. Damn. Damn. Okay, no, it's not over here. These gnats, I swear. I'm gonna have to get those, like, little sticks that you put into the plant soil to get it to stop. Breeding gnats or something? Oh, maybe there's something in the house. Oh, there we go, the house itself. Oh, here we go, another puzzle. Not a fan of these puzzles, I'm not gonna lie to you. Wow, but I did it. <laughs> it's like on accident every single time. Whoa, what happened to her face? Are you okay? Activate. Those are some neon green radioactive olives. Maybe we'll finally figure out who Nick and Isabel are. So you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep, the construction's starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze, we had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful, having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that special about it. 
We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get-together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. God, I swear my back is not used to gaming like it used to be. Like, nowadays I feel like when I sit forward, um, it'd be killing me a bit. Be right back, I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river is still so quiet, huh? Eh, she's actually been talking of at home and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. Luca is snoring so loud. Ha ha ha, so I'm the bad guy here, huh? What? Oh, hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So, how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. Haha, <laughs> I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say that something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I asked her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes, yeah, she said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. It's weird. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. So there are just family friends. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably? I'm always right, John. Hmm. Weird. Weird, her condition. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory and there are no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me, I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Wow. A, a bartender? Oh, this guy. Or actually, Dr. Watts for once. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hey yo, could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Check. Er, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? Oh my god. You're so getting resetted. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hello, could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab, I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. Oh, loosen up. <laughs> so now what? We gotta go put the olives on the table or something? Why is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh yeah, that sounds just swell. Eva, disable taste simulation now. <laughs> oh Neil, I don't think I feel like it. 
I'm so gonna get you back for this. Oh, pickled olives aren't that bad. Actually, pretty good. So that's how we got our first toaster. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah, ugh, uh. You okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could uh, find such things to be disgusting. Take your time. We've got two bottles left. Oh my god. So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. And you know what else is wrong with society today? Oh god. Alright, I think we got all of them. Yeah, I, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord. How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. What is it? What is this? What is this? Wait, don't you dare. Don't worry, sheesh. See, I'm doing it by the books. Oh, I see another gnat. Hulk smash! Neil, seriously. I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. He is... Wild. Uh -huh. Oh, this one looks bad. Wait, what am I? Oh, this is kind of confusing to look at. I'm not gonna lie. Huh. I do not know how I'm even doing that. I'm just clicking randomly. Like, there's no way in hell that I'm doing that right. God, my low back. It hurts so bad when I PC game now. It's frustrating. Crikey nutcrackers! You aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear, if this place... Oh. Eva, what the fuck? Wuss. She pushed him off. Oh my god, I'd be so furious. It's scary. Um, so we're very young, aren't we? Mm, no? We're like, young adult. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, river. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm sh We'd be able to see her from the window? In the morning at night, we'd always be nearby. And, and we could walk here any time. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Wow, well, she really loves this lighthouse. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. 
The important thing is that over here, they are happy. Aww. Let's move on. Well, we need... Let's see, is there anything else? It's sad to think about. Because we're going backwards, and we know that because she ends up getting sick, they don't... He, he ends up using all their money, essentially, to build the house, but he makes sure that it happens, and... But I still don't know why to the moon, or who is Anya. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? Oh. I suppose so. Then, that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but uh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway, she's not our client. Huh. Anya is the lighthouse, okay. I mean, I didn't want to assume. I thought that that's probably what was going on, but it is a little strange. Like, you would think that something had to have happened. Oh. Huh? Them going up there, Oh. Is there anything else? Oh. Oh, there's a paper bunny. Or a paper rabbit, I guess. Huh. I'm invested in this story. I don't know why she would be so adamant about this lighthouse and watching over it. Oh my goodness, I understood it. Oh my god, I did it. In five. He already left? Damn. He just leaves us every single time. Oh, he's so much younger. How old is he? River? So Z. It doesn't make sense because the house wasn't built yet. Where where is this house? What is this house? Yellow paper rabbit. Dear Lord, not again. Hmm. Is this a different house? Yeah, it is. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits? Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow? What else? A bit puffy? And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps, who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. D does she have dementia? Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Many long strands of orange hair. Oh, okay. That makes me think maybe she had cancer. It would have been years. Yeah, okay, maybe she has cancer. 
But the paper rabbits don't really make much sense, do they? Oh, that's a memento. Oh, we'll finally know what that is. Yeah, let's go through here. Oh, wait, no, we had some of them. Mm. No, we have all of them, I think, right? No, we don't. So this is the day she started it, huh? Hmm. We need one more, we missed. Oh, the piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really, you can't even get it through its door. Mmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. What? I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither, it sounds pretty epic. It's a sad moment. Why are they playing around? <laughs> okay. Hmm. I don't know what... I don't know. I don't know. Even that wouldn't just, like, make sense with what is going on with, uh, the lighthouse. It's freaking nuts. Spawned in the street. Is that like a gift for her? Is the house even here anymore? Or well, yeah, obviously the house wouldn't be here. We're not in that time period. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been? I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? <laughs> Acrophobia. We're crossing this? Okay. Um, keep going forward, I guess. Oh, there they are. Oh, there's a backpack. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. The heck is that? What is that, a hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know, you want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! so strange I think this memory isn't too far from the last think they may be connected probably uh, weird what's the backpack oh that's a memento 
Why'd she cut her hair anyway? I like it long. Hmm. Alright guys, we're gonna end it right here for today. So far, I'm super invested in this story. I don't really know why she's acting the way she is. I mean, I'm assuming that she was diagnosed with cancer, possibly. But why would she be making all those paper rabbits? Why is she so obsessed with this lighthouse and naming it Anya? It's just very strange behavior. Very strange behavior, I'm not really sure where it's going with it, but it is emotional, and it's definitely like, I don't know, it, it really grabs you. But yeah, make sure to check out the links in the description, leave a like if you enjoyed, and thanks for watching, guys.